Hello everyone, my name is Wisdom Jisenu, a fourth year dental student in the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about a very important aspect of uh, the admission process into the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School. Now, before you can gain admission into the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School, you need to buy the University of Ghana uh, admission form and then apply for medical school or dental school. Now, after the application, you will be shortlisted for an entrance exams. Then you come and write the entrance exams. After the entrance exams, you'll be called for an interview. When you pass through all these processes and you qualify for this course, you either be called to, uh, to read dentistry or to read medicine based on what you applied for. Now, this video is going to, to, to be talking about the entrance exams aspect of the admission process. Now, when it comes to the entrance exams aspect of the admission process, there are certain things we have to know. What are some of the things you need to come along with when coming to write the entrance exams? That is one. Two, what is the dressing code? How should you look like when you are coming to write the entrance exams? Three, we are going to talk about the structure of the exams. What kind of subject you should expect uh, during the entrance exams? We will also talk about some of the things to do after the entrance exams. After you are done with the entrance exams, what are some of the things you need to do? Now, ooh, I am also going to share with you some personal thoughts I have uh, concerning the entrance exams. How does the entrance exams contribute to uh, the admission process? I am going to also share that with you. Uh, so stay with me. Now, let's begin with things to come along with when coming to write the entrance exams. First of all, you need to come along with your receipts of payments. Any payments that you made concerning the entrance exams, you need to come along with a receipt. Do not forget that. It is very, very, very important. Uh, three years ago, as I said, I'm in my fourth year, and I think three, four years ago, even those who couldn't come with the, their, or those who couldn't make the payments in the bank, when they were coming, they came with cash and they took the cash before they entered the exam. So this year, it might not be the same. So make sure you make payment of uh, the entrance exams fee and come along with the receipt. Now, aside that, you need to come along with your Ghana card. Uh, we are in Ghana and uh, it is important that we know that you are from Ghana. Yes, other people will be coming from other countries, but when, if you are from Ghana and you are coming to write the entrance exams, you need to come along with your Ghana card. Uh, you need to come along with your calculator as well. You need to come along with your calculator as well. It is very important because you are going to meet some questions over there that need, that will need you to use the calculator. So you need to come along with the calculator as well. I would also advise that you come along with your pen. Yes, you might need that for uh, anything that will need you to write. But basically, the exams within wouldn't request you to write anything. Uh, last four years or last three years, we, we, didn't, we didn't have our entrance exams uh, online. It was in person. So there was a need for, you to, for us to bring pencil. But I heard that this year, the entrance exams will be online, which means you might not really need pencil. But yes, for for for. For some reasons, we can come with your pencil as well. Now, let's talk about how to dress for the entrance exams. Truth is, nobody really cares about how you dress for the entrance exams. It doesn't actually add any mark to your, to your, to your score. Okay, but uh, there is a saying that you need to dress the way you want to be addressed, right? And moreover, you want to become a doctor. so. You need to appear decent for the entrance exams. So I would advise that when you're coming for the entrance exams, you look decent for the entrance exams. You come and write your entrance exam very decently and go back home. 
uh, I mean, looking design doesn't take anything away from you. It actually adds so many things to you that you might not know uh, at the initial stage. So I would advise that when you're coming, you dress decently for the entrance essence. Let's now talk about the most important aspect of it, the structure of the examination. I would say that you should be expecting at least 120 to 150 uh, MCQs, that is uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, these, th this, is, this is what I think will be coming, okay? And I think last three, last two years, even last year, the questions were around 120. So I am sure that um, it wouldn't be more than that, but you should be expecting something around 150 MCQs, which will be having option, options like A to E or A to D. You should be able to, to, to deal with that. You should be expecting courses like uh, physics, chemistry, biology. You should be expecting English as well. You should be expecting some maths. You should be expecting current affairs questions. And you should be expecting something concerning the history of the University of Ghana. When it comes to current affairs, you know, we just had our election last year, that is 2024 election, and the president was sworn in together with some other ministers and uh, MPs in 2025. So I think a lot of questions are going to come from that angle. So you should be able to study that. And also, you should be able to know your ministers. I mean, especially the health those who are in charge of health and then those who are in charge of education, you need to know them. And also, uh, when it comes to the history of University of Ghana, you need to just log on, log on to the uh, University of Ghana page and then read about the history of University of Ghana. Our time, I didn't know anything like that would come. I went and then I saw a question asking, what is the former name of University of Ghana? I think you should find that out. Hey, it might come in your examination. Yes, yeah, so these are some of the things that are, that are likely to appear in your examination. So you do your biology, your physics, your chemistry, your math, your English, your current affairs, and then you learn the history of the university. Very, very, very important. Yes. What should you do after the examination? Socialize. You'll be surprised that the people that you meet in the examination hall are the same people you are, you are going to meet in class when, when the day comes for you to, 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 to gain admission and then go to class and meet some people. These are the same people you are going to meet. So it will be nice that you start socializing from the day you come for the entrance exam. It also help you to serve as a source of information. Whenever someone has any information concerning anything at all, the person can also tell you about it. Whilst you are home waiting for uh, your admission to, 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 to proceed. So yes, I'll advise you that you socialize, you, you exchange contact with other people when you come for the entrance exams. Now let's, let me share some small insights. I, have about this en entrance exam. Truth is, this entrance exam is not difficult more than the WASI that you wrote. So if you're able to pass your WASIs with seven A's, six A's, eight A's, you will be able to pass this exams uh, with A's, which means a lot of you are going to pass this exams. So you need to put in your best so that when they are selecting the best, you'll be part of the best. And at the end of the day, when they are selecting and then the, the, let's say the highest score is 90 and about 200, and 200 people are getting 90. When you get 70, you know that you might be disqualified because we already have, have about 200 people getting 90. So you have to put in your best. I'm not saying that is what happens, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is you should try and then put in your best in order to be uh, picked 
just in case they need people with such higher marks. And if that is the case, and a lot of people are passing, are they going to admit all of them? No, they are not. So there are other ways of disqualifying people, and that is the interview. So I have a lot more to say on the interview, just that in this video, we, I want us to focus more on the entrance exam. So I'll do another video to talk about the interview. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Whenever any other video comes, you'll be able to see it and then also watch it. Uh, there are also groups that are being created by the, the leaders, uh, student leaders in the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School to help new applicants who want to come to the university. So um, that is, they want to come to the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School. So if you are not in those groups, uh, leave a comment below. I will just uh, have a chat with you and then make sure you are added to that group. Uh, it's a group that they are doing very, very, very well. They are trying to help all applicants to gain admission. So, and they are helping you based on what the kind of, the, the ways to answer your questions, the similar questions that might come and then, uh, yes. So make sure you leave a comment below if you are not part of those groups. I wish you all the best. I know by the grace of God, we are, we are all going to pass. And at the end of the day, we are going to see each other. As you are seeing me here, one day, I'm sure we'll meet in person as well. God bless you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you like the video. Share with any other person who has applied to come to the University of Ghana Medical and Dental School. God bless you and stay blessed. Bye-bye.